since all the aspects of this course and more or less the design of our threads and our weaves are based off of trig, AKA that subject you never thought you would need when you grew up, <laughs> when you learned it in high school, we're gonna need to do just a little quick review of the sine function. So I have this demo file set up right here and you can see on my screen, we have the basic sine function spelled out for us right here. We're gonna basically be taking a curve and offsetting it in Y by this amount on the right hand side here. So this is our function Y of X, so as we move through the X position, we're going to be offsetting in Y. And then we have all these different parts. We have the A, then we have the F here. We have pi involved here and here. And then we have this O and this H. And these all mean the following. And here we can actually see that all in action. So right now we have a amplitude of one. And you can see that amplitude is representing this right here. And if I show the value, you can see that value is one. And as I slide this, that adjusts the amplitude of our wave, like so. The next one is the frequency. Now, two pi times the frequency, this comes from the unit circle. And you know the fact that we're working in radians and stuff like that, don't really need to know about it other than the fact that when we have a frequency of one, that means that it's gonna go through one whole cycle for every one unit in X. So if I crank this up to two, you can see that we're doing two whole cycles for every one unit in X. Now, the frequency isn't actually the distance between these two points on our curve. This is actually the period. So if I show that, you can see the period is actually just one over the frequency. So in this case, the period is one over two, which makes it one half. That's the distance from here to halfway through here. And so as we adjust this slider, you can see that it's adjusting our frequency and really how tight this wave is to begin with. So I'm just gonna put that back to one. I'm gonna put the amplitude back to one and we'll look at our next one. The next one is this offset, so O. If I turn on the guide for that and start to crank this offset, you can see that we're moving this curve left and right, like so. And if I move this offset all the way to negative one, you can see that it fully offsets and really we're left with the same curve that we started with. If I bring this back up to one, same curve. So this is adjusting the phase of our curve. And since we're multiplying by two pi, that goes all the way through one cycle. But it just makes it easier for us to understand in terms of graph units that when we offset this by one, we're actually gonna be offsetting it by one full cycle. The next one is H. And H, we're not gonna really be using this too much, but H is a vertical offset. So if we crank this value up and down, you can see we're just moving the curve above and below this main X axis right here. So I'm gonna set that back to zero. And this is sort of just the little guide that we're gonna be going off of as we move forward. So in the next section, we're gonna actually build our own implementation of the sine function in VEX and start making some weaves. Thank you for checking out the free preview lesson to Legendary Threads. If you want access to the full course, head over to mfxlabs.com or click the link in the description. Even if you only have beginner level Houdini knowledge, this course is designed to deliver advanced concepts in a way that everyone can follow along with chapter by chapter project files included. First, we'll cover basic theory through simple weaving and knitting examples as we build our own threading rig from scratch in VEX. Then we'll take that knowledge into the production realm by building a highly detailed knit pattern with shockwave animation that holds up in wide, medium, and close-up shots. Along the way, we'll cover a ton of critical Houdini skills from basic trigonometry to matrix animation, performance optimization, rendering, and beyond. This course also includes USD files of a shoe that I modeled and animated from scratch, ready to render in Solaris and Karma XPU that you can use in your personal projects. I am so excited to finally be able to share this knowledge with the world. Sign up now and start your Houdini weaving journey today.